What is the moral of the story? Does it ring a bell to you? Well, I'm sure you've heard that from your grade school teachers, and we shall be talking about it in a bit. you learn from it. I'm sure you're wondering what is its connection to our lesson. Well, today we shall be talking about the moral philosophical literary approach. So, let's get started. What is moral philosophical literary approach? Moral philosophical critiques believe that larger purpose of literature is to teach morality and to probe philosophical issues. Matthew Arnold said, Works must have high seriousness. Plato said, literature must exhibit moralism and utilitarianism. Horace said, literature should be delightful and instructive. The moral philosophical literary approach is concerned with content and values. The concern is not only to discover meaning, but also to determine whether works of literature are both true and significant. To study literature from the moral philosophical perspective is therefore to determine whether a work conveys a lesson or message and whether it can help readers lead better lives and improve their understanding of the world. What ideas does the work contain? How strongly does the work bring forth its ideas? How may the ideas be evaluated intellectually. What are the strengths and weaknesses of moral, philosophical, literary approach? Strengths. This approach is useful in evaluating works which present an obvious moral philosophy. It is also useful when considering the themes of works. For example, Man's Inhumanity to Man in Mark Twain's Huckleberry Finn. It does not view literature merely as art isolated from all moral implications. It recognizes that literature can affect readers, whether subtly or directly, and that the message of a work, and not just the decorous vehicle for that message, is important. Weaknesses The approach can be too judgmental. Some believe that literature should be judged primarily on its artistic merits not its moral or philosophical content. Let's take a look at this story. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once upon a time, there was a shepherd boy who used to take his flock of sheep to the hill to graze on fresh green grass. Sitting there, he had nothing to do the whole day. One day, an idea struck him. To overcome his boredom, he cried out, Wolf! Wolf! All the men came running with their sticks and to their dismay found no wolf. The boy laughed. The wolf, however, did truly come at last. The shepherd boy, now really alarmed, shouted in agony of terror, Pray do come and help me! The wolf is killing the sheep! But no one paid any heed to his cries nor rendered any assistance. The wolf, having no cause of fear at his leisure, lacerated and destroyed the whole flock. What is the moral of the story? Did you figure out the theme? The boy lied so often that when he finally told the truth, no one believed him. The moral of the story is no one believes a liar even when he speaks the truth. The philosophical approach doesn't look at a book as a piece of art with no moral implications. 
It says that literature can affect readers, whether subtly or directly. It considers that the message of the story is at least as important as the story itself. Remember to think about using the philosophical approach when you're looking at a theme of a story or when you're reading a story that is obviously centered on a specific moral or truth. There you go, the moral philosophical literary approach. In my succeeding videos, I will also talk about the other literary approaches as well. If you haven't seen the previous videos about formalist literary approach and structuralist literary approach, you can find the link in the description box below. So, I hope you learned something from our discussion today. I hope to see you again in our next video lesson. To get notified of the new video lessons, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. Bye everyone! Thanks for watching!